This video will be about multiplication of fractions using 7 thirds times 2 fifths. Alrighty, so in multiplying 7 thirds times 2 fifths, what we wind up getting is 7 times 2 over 3 times 5. Now, we're going to talk about in this video how we can prove that that is what we get. So, we're going to come down here to our cookies. Now, these are the very square cookies, but there are cookies, so we're going to use them. Now, focusing in on the two fifths, one cookie, two fifths of one cookie, uh, because like normal multiplication, it's multiplication of fractions is a certain amount and how many groups of that we have. So let's focus in on two fifths of a cookie. Now two fifths, we can shade that in like this. We're going to have one fifth, two fifths. So we've broken our cookie into five pieces, and these are two of those pieces. Two fifths. Our whole is this cookie right here. Our whole is one cookie, and it has five pieces. This is noted by the denominator. Now a fraction has three parts. It has the whole, the cookie, it has the denominator, how many parts it's in, and it has the numerator, how many of those parts we have. So one whole for us, if we drew it out with our cookie here, would look like this. It would look like five over five or one look like that. 5 over 5 or it would equal 1. And we have two parts of those five parts, so we have two fifths. Now we're going to focus on this number here, 7 over 3, 7 thirds. So 7 thirds, what that tells us is we have more than one whole because a multiple of the next multiple of 3 is 6 and we have even more than that, so we have actually more than two cookies parts of more than two cookies. So I'm going to divide these next ones up into five pieces as well. Did you know that it is in fifths? Now what we are going to do as well is divide each cookie lengthwise by into three other parts like so. And we're going to shade in 7 fifths or 7 thirds groups of 2 fifths. So we have another 2 fifths here. We're going to change our, how it's going to work is we're going to actually change our whole. We're going to switch our whole now. So our whole becomes just 2 fifths. This is our whole now. And we will shade in those 7 thirds groups of 2 fifths, 2 fifths being our whole. So we've got one whole, two holes. Now that leaves us with a third of a whole left. So we're only going to shade this part right here, right there. Now, that, now we're switching back to our original hole, which is one cookie here. Now we're going to want to find out exactly what our hole is. And this will lead us to our final fraction. We have, we're going to start making our final fraction here, the marking bar. And it is blank, or it is x many of x many parts of one cookie. Now we want to find out exactly what one whole is. So we have in, our, in a single cookie, we have one, two, three, four, five columns, or sorry, we have three rows with five in each row. So we are going to write out, and that's basic, that's basic multiplication, because we have three groups of five. So we have three groups of five. And that's how many pieces make up a whole. That's our denominator. And then 
we are going to focus in on how many of those parts we have. So we have seven rows, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows of two. That's seven groups of two. And that'll be our numerator, how many pieces we actually have. So that's seven times two. And oh, well, you look at there. Seven times two over three times five. Seven times two over three times five of one cookie. And that is our final fraction. And that from there, you can do simple multiplication to find out that it is 14 fifteenths of a cookie.